Are you generally the best at the board games that you're playing? I'm in general. I'm pretty sure. I mean, some people would say I'm not. I'm pretty sure I am. I the only <laughs> the only actually person, which is very funny, the only person that's actually close to me is my sister. So my sister, it's like she started like two years ago when she uh, joined her student dorm, and she just started winning at like at all costs all the time. And she was like, "This is class." <laughs> <laughs> why didn't I do this se- like sooner? <laughs> and, uh, but she is also extremely competitive. So I I played some of the games with her, and I was shocked because I'm like, I just don't lose in this. Like I never lost in this game, and she just came out of nowhere. <laughs> we played the uh, liar's poker, some liar's yeah. variations of that, and she's yeah. so good. She's like so good. So. Yeah, I found myself a uh, competition. <laughs> Did she play bridge? No, I knew that was going to be the next question. No, I actually... She wanted to do it at some point, and then I didn't want her to do it, uh, funnily enough, because, I don't know, I was like in kind of a moment. It takes a lot of time. You just can't do everything properly. Like, she's very... She's very like, I need to do my stuff. She's very functional. She does her, like, if she has exam, she's studying and she needs to do the exam. She's not sleeping. Like, she's doing her stuff mm. until, until she's done and she's going to be the best there. While I'm like, yeah, but I have like four more days. I can play bridge tournament and then do this and that. <laughs> and like, you know, and I know that that would like stress her out a lot. I, I had my, my parents at some point started like, doubting what's going on with bridge and university and me um it was like one summer i played so we went to israel we played tel aviv festival for seven days then we went to juniors tournament uh, juniors national uh, like european championship in slovakia then i went with friends to moscow uh, i played bridge there as well and then i went to Lyon to play transnational mm. And my parents were like, you have a bunch of exams. You will not get to the un- university you want for masters. You will not get scholarship at all. Like, maybe it's time to just focus now for like two weeks, three weeks, and then you can play bridge like as much as you want. And I was like, yeah, they're right. I know they're right. But it's like nights before match points in Pula, everyone was there. Everyone was playing Pula Bridge Festival. And it was like after midnight. I talked to like a girl from Zagreb and she was like, Hi, oh, I really wanna go play this tournament and I'm like, Me too. And I called my parents and I was like, Do you trust me? And they were like, Yeah, we always trust you and I'm like, But do you think I can make it through with all the exams and everything? They were like, Yes, of course you can. You always made it, you're gonna make it tomorrow, <laughs> like in like in a week or so. And I'm like, okay, if you trusted me, like, could you pick me up from the train station and take me to the airport tomorrow? So, I, cause I can, I want to go to Pula <laughs> to play match <laughs> point in the game. <laughs> and they were like, in how many hours is that? And I'm like, in five. <laughs> so, yeah, I went to Pula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my sister. What, was, was there? Go. What was it like when you didn't play for two years at university? Like, did you miss it? Did you think you'd quit for good? Or what, did, like, were you, know. how I, did that work? I knew I'm not going to quit. I was, uh, I was 100% sure. Like, not for a second in my life. Like, the only, the only thing because of which I would quit bridge is like, if I have continuous bad results and I'm just, I can't improve properly, I think that would like, stress me out completely and I would be like there is something better I can do in my life than lose in this game but at uni I well I had to like change my BBO password and lock it in some file and then share the password for that file with someone like that was that was a must so I did that you know you can reset the password 
I don't know what I did with that. I changed the email as well, maybe, or something like that. <laughs> I'm not sure, but like I, <laughs> I was like, I went all the way, like trying to stop myself being rich. Wow. Um, mm. But then, like, the issue is like I play a bridge when I'm stressed. So, like, mm. if I'm having a night studying, and usually before the exam, I'm asleep for like 48 hours. I'm just working on that. I usually need a break to like just reset my mind and refresh. So like I was missing that. So I started playing chess. So I was on chess.com mm. like two and a half hours a day. And I was like, how is this different? Like I'm standing <laughs> a bunch of time playing the game. And I'm even bad in that game, you know? So yeah, I was like, I, then I had to block my chess.com account. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that was bad what was it like when you came back and like how did you decide like that you were ready to come back so uh, I finished my exams uh, at some point and I just didn't know what I want to do if I want to do PhD if I want to um, do my masters and then decide if I want to stay in like I was doing some natural language processing and then I also realized our oh, finance is actually very interesting so I didn't know what to do in my life. And I actually took like a, not a real break. I was taking some courses and stuff, but like I didn't do nothing, anything mandatory. So I was like, okay, I, there were some new juniors in Serbia that like didn't know about me at all. So I talked, I spoke to, I think, Jovana and another junior. Um, and they were like, maybe you should join the group and start talking to people. And, uh, it's COVID. So you, you have nothing smarter to do and like they're also so my my issue with Serbia uh, and the junior team was like that we never had six fine players and we never had actually six players that wanted to play bridge series and not even like being mm-hmm. fine like they're right. they were all smart guys um uh, but they just didn't want to do bridge they wanted yeah. to do like our bridge of month a month or so mm-hmm. Yeah. So they called me and they were like, so there are two new guys and they really want to play bridge seriously. And, uh, and there are like some other juniors that, that are playing a lot and maybe you should come around. And then my coach also called me and he was like, would you consider coming back? Who would you play with if you come back? There are these tournaments in juniors. What would your plans be? So I quietly activated my BBO and joined like silently as a tributor on some of these tables. <laughs> <laughs> but I like they all knew about me. So at some point they contacted me and all of that. And um oh they hated me after after a very short time most of them. Because I was I was like we are gonna play this tournament. But I want everyone to analyze every single board from this match and send me their analysis. And like, if you don't do that and that and that, so like people that knew me, they were like, yeah, it's, it's just classic Selena. She's, mm-hmm. uh, she wants to push her soul to like try harder. Uh, but like people that didn't know me, they were like, they just, she just came from nowhere. She just ruined our fun. <laughs> and like, we now need to comment on every single card we played. <laughs> so I think I'm in general good teammate for people that want to like be pushed and push. Mm -hmm. Um, but I I don't think I should spend any time ever with people that just want to play bridge for fun I think I'm I'm terrible for people that want to play bridge for fun Uh, because I just don't get it and I don't know how to act like I don't know how to behave and be like yes it's Mm. cool we want space with four and we double with four both both are fine you know Mm. we taught bridge for a bit Yoran and me and I just go to that table. I take like four best deep, like guys around at the like court and I sit with them and they're so excited and passionate about bridge and like they want to be better. And I'm like, this is what I need. And like, I can talk with them, but like, I need to be able to tell them that lead was very stupid. Like, what was the point of that lead? Because if I can't tell them that, um, I usually don't know how to say, oh, well done Mm. if i don't think well done (laughs) (laughs) 
Yeah. Oh. Have you ever played against Jeff Maxtroth? I don't think so. Probably remember. Uh if I did so I probably didn't. He's uh Why? he's he's probably the he's probably one of the toughest partners I've ever had. I only played with him for two days. But uh he like yeah. He was rough. He it was uh I remember there was one deal we're playing in a knockout match and I led something and my right hand opponent had shown a strong hand and I led away from an honor and he said I'd never heard somebody else say this before. He said the correct lead is like a different suit, like it was a passive lead. Yeah. And I was just like, wow. And after the tournament, I remember being really upset with him. Like at first I sat down across from him. I'm like, okay, wow, this is Jeff Maxtroth. You know, this is like my dream to be sitting across from Jeff Maxtroth. He's so good. And cause I was nervous and then I was like excited and then after the two days, I was really upset because I felt like he was, he was, he was hard on me. You know, he was challenging me. And so I was driving back from like, it was like eight hours drive from the tournament to my house. And so I'm driving and I'm listening to this podcast and uh, it's an NBA player, like a basketball player. And he's talking about how Chris Paul was like, he just demanded excellence from his teammates. And it was really helpful because it helped me see that like I wasn't giving my best effort and it actually was really great that Jeff was hard on me in the way that he was because I wasn't giving my best effort and I did give the other team some kind of freebies and it really like made an impact on me and I had my best year of bridge you know, in the, in like the next 12 months. So, uh, it's hard though, you know, like it's hard to, it's hard to, you know, when somebody does something that's, you know, stupid or like, you know, it, it's definitely, that's one, that's like one of the challenges of bridge. Like part of what makes bridge so interesting is like the, the after, you know, like the postmortem of boards and, uh, like getting across your point without alienating. You see, I completely agree there. Well, with your second conclusion, because I, I, at the beginning, yes, it's, it's hard when people are harder than you. So now I beat with a lot of players that are better than myself. And I did have luck in the last couple of years to play with players that are better than myself. And, uh, there are two different types. Those that get impressed and they're like, wow, you're actually not that bad. And you're a woman or whatever. <laughs> And uh, some of them that just actually never said well done or very, very rarely said well done. Mm. And uh, mm. I prefer not having well done because I prefer not, I prefer my partner expecting me to be very good. Because like if they mm. say well done and I think it's it's a normal thing to do and I should have done that even five years ago. Then I feel like, oh, you actually have low opinion about me, uh, in a way. So I prefer, like, when I played with Mikael, for example, he's a good example. I played four diamonds doubled in a match points game and, uh, we beat it nicely and I made it and it was 92%. And he said, but why didn't you play this to make extra tricks? And, uh, I'm like, I think this can wait for after the tournament because, like, it's four diamonds doubled. You know, it's going to be a tough if I made <laughs> 10 tricks. Yeah. He's like, yeah, but, like, if you counted this person here, you would figure out if you can play yeah. this with a high chance of making 11 tricks. And right. uh, I both like it and dislike it. At the first moment, I, like, you dislike it because uh. you're like, just be happy we made four diamonds doubled. Um, but in the second moment, you're like, yes, he's right. It's actually like, if I thought about it, I would have realized that. And um, I just actually like that he, he doesn't say well done that often. And uh, he he would like, if I bid with him and we get one board with like less than three stars, he would be like, what was that one? No Trump opening. That's like two out of 10 points for you. 
on that board. And he's like, rest in peace, the perfect score. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> no, but I, uh, I like it's... that. Um, uh, that's, uh, so he found me. I played mixed pairs with Palma uh, now in New Orleans. And, and yeah. he, which he's amazing partner and amazing player. And uh, before the tournament, I said, please tell me whenever I make a mistake. Any side, like the the minor mistake or a major mistake, just tell me. And he looked at me like, that's not what you want. And I'm like, no, that's what I want. Trust me. <laughs> like, I want to like mm. know about all of my mistakes. Mm. So, like in the moment or after the session? Well, depends. Uh, I think I don't mind it in the moment, but I probably do. Uh, most of my yeah. partners mind it, yeah, so yeah. we don't do that. Uh, Yohan and I never do yeah, that. Yeah, I think that's smart. Uh, but yeah, mm -hmm. he like he did wait uh, after for after the tournament, and then he was like, "That's one of Trump hand if I had this," which is probably a better way to do it. Yeah, I definitely. And it's think also so. like, think... yeah, I don't know. Do you think like you probably already think about the previous hand too much? You you look like a person that thinks about previous hands too much. <laughs> I mean, I do. It's uh, nothing like it's very wrong, but like I think it's very hard to block that. I mean, I think that like I played with this guy Nick Jacobs in uh, in New Orleans in the Vanderbilt in the Swiss, and Nick was great for me because before we even started playing, we before we even really talked about our system. Like I had given him like my system notes, like whatever fifteen pages of system notes. He's like he talked about like manner at the table, and he said. He said, it's like the best pairs are not, there's not a lot of discourse between the two of them. They're not talking about like, and so we basically agreed not to talk. Like we agreed not to say thank you for the dummy, not to say good luck and not to like, I mean, we even had like a, if, if something came up where we had a misunderstanding because we were playing my system, we agreed beforehand that we would that what I did, we would interpret that as correct. So we weren't, weren't even going to talk about the error. We're just going to go on to the next board. And that was super helpful for me, like super helpful to, to like be like, it helped me like, cause one of the things that I can do is I can get mad at my partner when my partner does something like, why would you do that? You know? And, and it really helped me get in the like winning mind frame. And I think that's like, I'm not, like technically I'm, I'm, you know, I'm capable, but like really the best way for me to, to win is mindset, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But what do you think about, um, so you, for example, you went quite far now in, in Vanderbilt and if you went even further, what do you think about even talking after the, the, like if you play a seven day or 10 day tournament, what do you think about talking in the evening about the boys from do you think you should talk about so we it actually, at the end or? That's what we, that's kind of what we did. Like if there was something where it was like a kind of a bad score or a screw up, like, yes, we talked about it that like after the session, but like it was really helpful too to not really talk about the boards, like to generally save that for after the tournament. Cause it was like less, I didn't need the energy and I, and there's some things that I didn't want to relive, you know, like, it's like yeah. frustrating things. And so yeah. to save it for after the tournament, I think that like, I think that I'll want to have similar agreements with partners for, you know, major type events going forward. I'll, I'll... Yeah. No, we, we have a, so Yaron and I put a stopwatch uh, at the lunch break and it's like, okay, all right. We have like five minutes to talk about <laughs> and then we can't just talk about any topic we have to like start liking each other again but you're gonna hate each other after five minutes we know that <laughs> so it needs to be something nice um, <laughs> so we kind of need to like find a topic for after that and we need to like show that we are enthusiastic about loving each other um, I mean it's not easy it's just you know it's not easy <laughs> Uh, uh, it's a good thing that like we if we don't have a solution on the board and we disagree we're just gonna ask like five people or post it on three winners and like whatever five best players say we 
agree that that's uh, that's what we should do on the board. And uh, mm. in Serbia, that's not really a thing. I don't know why. Like in Serbia, it's like I'm so smart and I'm so good. So what I say is true, mm. no matter what Jeff Maxtra mm. says or whoever. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, but like Serbia has never been top 17, 17, one, seven uh, in mm. European championships. So like if we were so mm. good as everyone claims, right. like why, why haven't we been like closer to the top? Mm. And Jovan and I have like that, that agreement. Like we, we do know something about bridge. So we can agree on something, but if we can't agree, then we should ask someone and, uh, and like no hard feelings. One of us is right and that's fine. <laughs> so we just move on to the next I one. Noticed I noticed you've posted a lot of bidding problems on bridge winners so that this all makes, this all makes yeah. sense. <laughs> no, I, I actually love talking about problems. Like I can do that the whole day and we like, we actually had good, uh, mindset about that starting like when we started to play bridge we played uh 2015 when we started playing bridge and 2016 we already analyzed all the boards from the major tournament and send it over to like uh best serbian players at that point mm. uh but like even that helps a lot and uh i think yeah 2016 2017 most of like before i stopped playing bridge in 2018 we were just going to all the boards ever like from mm. not from festivals but like even from festivals if something is like disagreement uh but i think like analyzing boards is uh it's like take like it brings you so much i don't know it's just you sometimes feel like illuminated you're like okay maybe i shouldn't be opening one of trump with 14 pounds maybe mm. it's actually not working that much mm. so yeah, it's just, I mean, two partners and they both want to win and we both want the same thing. So let's just find what's best. And if we are both reasonable, uh, it should be fine at the end of the day, I guess. What's an, what's an example of a hand from, from New Orleans, like where you had a lunch session, you know, you, you had a lunch session, you had the timer. What's an example of something that you talked about after, like to 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 remember that you liked each other again? Oh, what we talked about after? Well, like in general, gossiping is usually helpful. <laughs> Funnily enough, if you like talk about random gossips and stuff, you're like, oh, I've heard this or that, <laughs> which is like so random, but it's kind of like it's important that like it's kind of takes your mind elsewhere so it has to be decently interesting mm. uh mm. so if we start talking about her work or my work uh that's not gonna mm. work because like it's gonna get us <laughs> more stress for some other stuff mm. so we would talk either about our sister uh she has a sister as well or we would talk about yeah gossip in general about some people from Serbia. well it can be bridge gossip that's fine like, it can be a gossip about a board, and she would be like, oh, maybe I bid this, like, uh, more, but, like, listen to this bit from, I don't know, our <laughs> <laughs> And mm. I would be like, yes, I'm happy to have you. <laughs> You're right. Uh, but, yeah, it would be, should be, like, something that should make us kind of laugh. So, yeah. We, we never tried, like, going back to room or like going to like uh we never relax on a tournament i thought about that last time like we stayed in some hotels where like they have you know places where you can relax and stuff and like you actually need to like relax at some point you just need to stop thinking about bridge and like go to the next day fresh and it's just like how do you do that so we are investigating all the possible ways to like actually do that i say a lot of like do i say a lot of like i just became self-conscious about how much like I say like <laughs> I've been told by a listener that I say it too much someone who listens to this podcast really yeah too much like yeah that I say like too much oh like too much <laughs> oh yeah I mean I beat you 100 <laughs> percent 
um, is is Giovanni your like is she is she your first real partner? Like was she your yeah, first she real is. that's amazing that you're both still on the same trajectory. Well, we haven't been. We stopped playing together at some point. Um and then we played for the first three years and then we stopped. And um uh, yeah, I think at the end it's like even if we are not perfect partners for each other, we we have similar uh, mindsets and similar ambitions. Like, even if I love some partners in, in Serbia, will they come to US to play NABC with me? Will they have time, right. money? Uh, if they have kids, will that be possible if their kids are young? And it's also easy like to... We like each other. Uh, we like spending time with each other. I probably shared Zoom with her more than with anyone else in my entire life, including probably my sister. And we we know how to function with each other uh, in that way. And then also at the end, uh, we have the same like view on how to get better. And she's like, I'm not the smartest. If I was the smartest, uh, I wouldn't be here. I would be somewhere else on top of this this result list or whatever uh and i have the same view so we both agree that we both want to get better in the same way which is which is very important i think i i had partners which were better than both of us uh better card players for sure and i don't see the potential to be honest mm. like i don't see the way that they can like go even higher than that and uh with Jovan and I see like the potential to go higher and with myself like I hope I see the potential to go higher because I'm like I don't see where I'm stuck why would I be stuck here because I would do something to overcome that and uh and that, that's something that matters and that's something in Serbia that you just can't get with many players it's they they play a lot of bridge but like just playing a lot of bridge I, it's questionable even if Kukowski just can sit on, on online and play a lot of bridge and get better by just playing. Or go to like a club game. In, like if, if Kukowski was born in Serbia and played bridge and never opened bridge winners and never went to international tournaments and never spoke to like better players than, than himself, would he, like where would he get? It's, it's, it's interesting to think about. I think I read he never like he never read a book or he almost never read a, like he read almost like zero books or something like that on bridge. So he obviously is very talented for the game, but it's like how much of that help is like from his partner? How much was he watching? What was his way of learning? Because I don't think you can just play, 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 play. I think you need sometimes to slow down and and like look backwards and look like what what's there to improve. So how come you chose Kukowski for that uh example? Well, cause he he won his bridge uh, he won Bermuda Bowl when he was like nineteen. And then I <coughs> read one interview uh where I think he said he didn't he doesn't read books. Uh so I was just thinking like how you're 19, you don't read books, so what's going on? Mm. But I, I watched a lot of interviews from successful people and uh, and spoke to many successful people. And they all say playing with better players and against better players is the best way to, to like, get better. And now, like, some years after, I'm like, I don't see actually that there is other way, <laughs> like, not just best way, but like I don't see like there. Is, I don't think there is a way without that, and uh, that's why I don't think I can like play for women seriously and with the same enthusiasm and the same passion. And uh, we, it's just like I want to play, and I play so much better. It's I play so much better playing against better players. I. I think about things that would never come to my mind. Uh, and I always did. Like when I, I remember I played a festival in uh, Bulgaria. Like maybe when I was playing bridge for a year and a half, two years maybe. And I played uh, 
non event Stefano on on Bugra. And they play strong club. And uh they were also at that point like third on Bermuda Ball with their team and they had a client in the team as well. Good client but still client. Um and they're just Bulgaria. They're not like Poland, they're not Italy, they're not Sweden, they're not US. So I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm playing that match. Um and uh I think we played we played with Marusha, Gold and Dassi. Um, Malakova mm-hmm. in the team. Yeah. We were called like lady Balkan ladies or something like that. It was it was very nice thing. Mm-hmm. Stars like Agora. Yes. Yes. How you know about that one? Oh, it's a very I've nice played story. Stars Agora. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. How how do you like it? Oh, it was so, great. Uh, I used to have uh, uh, some Bulgarians uh, as my uh, teammates and partner for uh, for some of the nationals. So uh, I went. I, put, I played with them. Oh, nice, nice. Probably twenty fourteen. I think it was. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I had like a, there was like so she opened two spades, and uh, Stefano doubled, and I had like. King fifth, void, king queen five times, and ace jack third. Wow. And, um, and like, if I played any women's event, even now, I would just probably be four speed. But then I was thinking, so what are they gonna do? What do I, where do I want them to land? How, did, how are they gonna think? What would I think if I was smarter, <laughs> if I was better or whatever? And I just, it's like so many things in my head, which I didn't experience before. Because in ladies tournaments, it's just, and in weaker fields, you just want to try with four spades. And then if it goes something, you might want to try with five spades and whatever. But here I was just like, I remember my heart was like beating. And that's something that you can't get at women's events. I, your heart doesn't beat. Like, it's very silent. And, like, my heart was mm. beating, and I just took five spades and put it there. And it was, like, double pass, six hearts, pass, pass, pass. And, like, I like King of Diamonds, and they went one down. And I was so happy. And the whole match was like that. The whole match, it was like they opened precision, and it goes past three diamonds, and I need to decide on something, and... I've never been in that situation and I just need to like think about their system and everything. And we won a match by like 30 dreams or something. And we were like, extremely happy. But the point was I just made a bit I've never made before and I would have never made before because I play mm. opponents, which I need to play in a way and not just cards. And I'm playing people there stronger than myself and I need to like get into their mind and yeah that's that's an amazing thing because you just want your brain to like get to the new conclusion which I usually don't arrive to and when I play women's stuff unfortunately I have to ask can you make six spades no it's down to well it was down to the other table I'm not sure you can't make it because uh, you're missing Ace of Diamonds, Ace of Spades, for sure. And then I think... Oh, oh. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's tough to do. <laughs> that's Got it. Yeah. Um, Got it, yeah. Ace of Diamonds and Ace of Trumps on that layout is going to be hard to... Because you think, you know, they probably are leading a, a hard honor. I would have bid six yeah. spades. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, yeah, I don't know what the so... vulnerability was, though. You didn't uh, we tell me the vulnerability. vulnerability. Yeah, yeah. We were non-vulnerable. They were vulnerable. So our uh, two spades was quite weak. She had queen, jack, ten, mm. nine, six cards in spades and ten, fourteen clubs. Mm. Uh, mm. That was all. Yes. In some other scenario, yes, I, I would agree. But with her and with our system back then, and we had like a... At that point, we had vulnerability style. Like you can't open too strong hand in a non-vulnerable and stuff like that. Mm. So I was, I was pretty sure there is no six spades on a board. Mm. And I was like, she can't have way too much. Like, ace, queen, jack mm. of spades and 
being a props is so much. Hmm. I've been wanting to ask this question for a long time, and now I'm oh going to finally God. ask it. Um, who's more into it, you or Giovanna, or you think it's like uh, kind of equal? Ah, uh, that's an interesting question. So she she's a big lover of the game. She yeah. We we com- we love game completely different. She loves the game and. She would be able to play in a club forever. Like I haven't been to Serbian Bridge mm. Club in my mm. in last six years, probably. Right. So she loves games. She loves teaching kids. She loves going to bridge clubs. Mm. She loves mm. uh, reading books. She read probably like more than fifty books. I'm not joking. And uh, <laughs> and I love like I love the winning side of the game. I love. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I want to have this sequence in my system and I want to know what's mm-hmm. best thing to do here. And I wish I wanted and I could enjoy going to club and maybe not finishing first mm-hmm. in a club, but it would kill me. It would destroy <laughs> me going to that club and not finishing first. <laughs> Uh, and she's uh, completely fine. She's like, we went, and then this person did that. How funny! And I'm like, is it funny though? Like, is it really funny? You know. <laughs> so she <sighs> just loves the game, like, without any kind of, like, she loves the game without limit on any side. Yeah. And for me, there's like, I love it, but under these conditions. So my love is conditional, <laughs> and maybe my conditional love is bigger, but like mm. she loves rich unconditionally. Mm. Mm. And this is the question that I wanted to ask before asking that question. Like this question came to mind, and I I wanted to ask it probably like fifteen minutes into our conversation, but I was like, no, I can't ask that. <laughs> and I was gonna kind of ask it as a joke because I don't expect you. But do you know what the question is? Maybe, but I'm not gonna say. But I can imagine. Maybe. Come on, do you, no, you don't no, want to no, say no. what you think the question is? No, no, no. You're not no, okay. No, no. So you have to tell me if it's it. When I ask you the question, you have to tell me if you think it's the question I was gonna ask. Because I don't necessarily really want you to answer. But I know. yeah, it's kind of a fun question. But you know, maybe not fun if you if you like. Anyway, <laughs> who's better? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, um, we, <laughs> no, that's a funny question. Um, uh, we would, like, we would have everyone, without exception, compare us. Like, every single person in the universe. And, uh, <laughs> that actually brought up, like, a bit of, you know, it's like we were like, we don't care. But then she did care uh, at some level, especially from certain people, and that was that yeah. was the issue. Like I, I honestly think I didn't care ever what people think. I was like, some people would comment on some in some way, and I was like, really, is that a comment you want to make? But I actually have had like a had a thing that like I'm never gonna. I played challenges like crazy. I played with everyone from junior team with. The coach with everyone from our open team, from yeah. other juniors. I never played a single challenge with her. Never. <laughs> I'm like, we don't compete in this game. We play this game cooperatively, mm. and like, if, mm. if like if we actually have to like talk about who's better, then we have issue because no, the, cool. the 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 thing is like we kind of need to. We would probably agree on some stuff, like who's a better who's better in leading, who's better in card play, who's better in having focus and uh, stuff like that, who's better playing new opponent, new partners, and who's better. So I think we would have pretty much the same responses in certain aspects of the game. Mm. Um, I think she would usually, she would probably be better playing with like, in Serbia for sure. Like if she picked a partner in Serbia and I played with the same partner, she would play, she would have made a better result uh but i think even like 
maybe because she goes to club game, maybe, I don't know, but she, when she picks like wide range of partner, I think she can play with every single type of player. With the aggressive one, mm. the passive one, the weak one, the strong one. Like, and she always could, mm. like, even when we, like, when we started playing games, she, she, like, plays with a wide range of players, and she plays well with all of them. Mm. And I probably have a bit narrower um, person on the other side in order to, like, play really my best game. So that's, that's one. And then I spend a lot more time on bidding. I, I spent a lot of time on bidding, and she... She didn't focus so much on reading. She was reading books and she likes reading books. And, uh, and so that's another thing. So, and I love reading. I love not the system itself. I don't care about system. I love mm-hmm. deciding what am I going to open one heart or three hearts or four hearts or two spades or one spade. And I had these discussions like I had probably five to ten of these discussions before our conversation today already. I actually did send to, I actually did send to Mikhail. I was, I did the daily on Qubit and, uh, there was some random hand and a couple of days ago, Mikhail was like, ah, with this kind of hand, you can't decide to, pass. you can't pass. You can't, you have to open either one spade or two spades, you can't pass. And today he passed or all have passed and he said he would have done the same. So I was like, your rules mean nothing. Like, no <laughs> meaningless. <laughs> um, mm. so I spend a lot of time on figuring out how other people bid uh, I mean you see it from Bridge Winner and she's mm. not that active in that type, type of stuff and then she spends a lot of time on declaring and uh, problems and bridge books kinds of, prob- kind of problems so yeah we enjoy different types of games like different uh, segments of the game. I'll put it that way. Here's an easier question. How much of a dick is Michael? Oh, he's crazy, yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's completely crazy. He, I think he can do that. <laughs> he can do bridge for not, not like 90% of the day every single day and he wouldn't, he would be fine. I don't think I've ever met a single bridge player that's that crazy about the game. Oh. Uh, <laughs> And no, I think he can talk about it forever and, uh, he can like, it's just like he, whatever he plays club game or talks with someone, he always has a bunch of hands and he always sends it to everyone. And he's like, ah, oh, but this person would be this, this person would be that and blah, blah, blah. Um, even like, I think he's now in, uh, in Mallorca. I think he's teaching old ladies. And, uh, well, old people. And he was like, oh, I shuffled the board and I got this hand. And then he sent me a hand yesterday from, uh, like he just, get, like he loves the game so much. It's, uh, it's very nice to like follow someone loving game so much in a way. Also pretty much unconditionally, I think. Like he, he hates mm. Redbridge, but apart from that, he, he loves game unconditionally. I need to get on his email list. <laughs> the, uh, he's, he's like, how does he know? send the he's hands like, out? Oh, I think he... Is it group, te- is it group text? He has a group... Or, or he sends them out individually. He has a group uh, with some sweets, and then he has a group with, uh, I think, Perola and Palma. And then he has another group, and then he sometimes re- remembers that I'm not in any of those like random groups that he has so he he would send me but yeah he it's just like he always has a bunch of hands like if you ask him in the middle of the night what did you do yesterday <laughs> he would say oh I had this uh, he always had a hand <laughs> yesterday <laughs> um, oh and he would always, like, if, even if there is nothing interesting in the hand, he would be like, but what if this was in the hand? Then it would be interesting. Mm. Mm. So it's a mm. complete mindset of a winner. How did you, how did you first meet Michael? Uh, we played World Bridge Series. Well, we played Opatia the same year. 
So they won the under 26 uh, competition in pairs and we won under 26 girls. So we were mm. on a podium and in the on the front uh. page of the bulletin or whatever. But we never met that there. We were like uh, those two arrogant brothers walking around thinking they're so smart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> half joke. That's a half a joke. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, what was it? So we actually played team, but we didn't play against each other. They didn't let us. So we 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 had a team in Serbia, and we were like, oh, we want to play them. And they were like, no, you're not gonna play them. And we just had to accept that two of us sit out that match. We really mm. wanted to play them. Um. Yeah. We, I think we ended up on Butler above two of them. So that's my, still my success. I was like, eight years ago, we played the same tournament. This is our Butler score. This is yours. Uh, <laughs> he hates that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we played the World Bridge Series in Wroclaw. I think there was a junior, yeah. uh, junior meeting juniors meeting at the last day of the event in in some random place and i went there and i was so excited going there and then the table was split with like girls on one side and guys on the other side and like they spoke about football or whatever soccer and the girls spoke about lipsticks and stuff and i was like uh you know what i'm not gonna sit here and then uh there was uh a friend from Norway, she was like, you know what, I'm not going to sit here. So she was like, I'm going to go to casino. And I was like, I'm coming with you. So I went with her to casino. Uh, that's actually a funny story. I went with her to casino. Uh, she forgot her passport. So she had to go back to the room. And then she was like, can you just tell my friends that I'm coming? Because I told them I'm coming. But I need to go get my passport. I was like, yeah, sure, who are your friends? And she's like, Hagen and Helga. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so I went there <laughs> to the black deck table. <laughs> um, and I was like, I just wanted to let you know that she's coming. And um, then I sat there and they played blackjack. And apparently, from the moment I arrived, they started winning. <laughs> I didn't even know what, what it means to win in blackjack. Um, uh, and then I had to go and I was like, okay, I'm done here. Uh, and they were like, no, 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 no. You are not going anywhere. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And then they gave me some chips. And they were like, just play. If you're bored, sit there and play. And I'm like, I don't even know the rules. And then, uh, they took, like, there were a couple of people there and they taught me rules. And then I played blackjack, uh, for the first time in my life. I, uh, I made 400 euros. Yes. Wow. And everyone was That's like, yeah. And everyone was like, oh, we are going to do the same thing as she's doing because she's obviously <laughs> doing well. And then I made some very stupid mistakes and they just looked at me and they were like, what's wrong with you? So yeah. And then after the tournament, because uh, you have to stay there in the junior's place, uh, she said, she told me that Mika said, asked where is your partner and she said well she's gone to casino and he said how rude like she can go to casino at any time but like now it's a junior's like meeting and talking and she left and I was like and then I apologized that I left and then we started speaking about that <laughs> and stuff and yeah we quickly became friends but mm. I think we met only in Shamarine in Slovakia next year and then by then we spoke about a lot of bridge and it was fun. We played first mm. match against Sweden, so I was like, okay, now I'm going to play the, my first match against Sweden. And then their coach didn't let them play. But we still won, I think. So, really? Yeah, yeah, it was our first match, and uh, we won. We played Simon Hulk, I think, and Adam Stocker at our table, and it was Mikael and Ida at the other. So it was our first deep match and we won. And I remember that, that match, my heart was beating as well because I knew like they're amazing players. And at that point, they already had like decent success. But like mm. my focus is just 
so much stronger and I just give my 300% and Yovana as well and it's just more exciting and like I don't think they wanted to win so much as we wanted to win like it was just a random match <laughs> and for us it was like we played seed and <laughs> now we win <laughs> but, yeah last question how close are you and Yovana to being on the Serbian Open team I think it's gonna happen next year um I would so before this, we played 2019 with Belgium. Uh, we played in women's team, and I think we decided we are not going to do that ever again. We didn't play with each other, though, but uh, we played. And then at some point after this, when we decided we're not going to do mix anymore. Uh, so now it's either going to be open or nothing, basically. Uh, and given that some of the partnerships that were actually strong split in Serbia, I don't think there is almost anyone decent that can actually be on that team that actually wants to play. So mm. which is bad in one hand because like we would really want a strong team as well. So we we were talking about that right now. Um uh, we have teams trials as well in Serbia, which is like we have six pairs in total and we hold teams trials. It's ridiculous. Um, wow. but yeah, I mean, not six pairs, but like six pairs that actually know something in that regard. We actually, like, we are actually friends with all of the people there. So we actually don't mind at all being on team with one pair from one team and one pair from the other team. Uh, but they do mind. Now we are pushing for pairs trials to be held instead of teams trials. Um, mm. we're going to talk more about that in Avisad now. And yeah. Are you? Do you think you're gonna play trials yourself? Is it? It's gonna be soon, right? In a couple of weeks. Well, yeah, I, I am playing the trials. I'm playing. That's playing. that's why I was playing with Michael the, the other day because uh, my teammate Max Sherson is playing with Michael's wife Debbie. Yeah. And okay. my partner is uh, Will Watson. So uh, we're playing the trials forehanded, starting I think on May first. How long is it? Uh, so there's 14 teams, so we're playing like a round of 16 and two teams have buys and we play two day matches. Wow. Wow. And the winner advances. I've yet to, I've never won a match in the trials. Really? How, so, how many times did you play? Yeah. Um, I've played four times, I think five times. Wait. Nice. I played four or five times and so sometimes there's a round robin. The first couple of times there was a round robin and I got out of the round robin once, didn't get out the other time. And then they didn't get out the third time. And then last time we just had matches and we almost beat the Fleischer team, but, uh, we couldn't quite get it done. Similar team. We, we had, we, Anam and, uh, Stu Rubenstein were on our team last time. Otherwise the same four. Nice. 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 I had my yeah. my my uh, favorite hand ever against Fleischer, actually. So for me, okay. that's the best feeling ever. When you mention, I always think of the hand. You you what? You always think of the hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you say Fleischer, for me, like Fleischer means the mm. hand. <laughs> you gonna tell me about that or uh, we have to I wait mean, for again, part two? I always, I, I, I mean, I just need you to ask me about the hand and then I'm like, okay, yeah, okay. I want to tell you. <laughs> no, I right. play, we played the second round of Rising there, or second day of Rising there, um, now in Phoenix. Yeah. And, um, the hand was King seven fourth, Ace Jack third, uh, small double son and nine fourth. And, uh, okay. they had a, a lot of spots. A lot of spots. <laughs> Um, no, I'm saying you're giving me a lot of spots. Like you gave me the seven. It, it, that seven <laughs> is important. That's why I gave you. <laughs> no, I. <laughs> <laughs> so Fleischer opened uh, a diamond, unbalanced. Um, my, uh, I got one heart on my left, and one no trump uh, on my right, which was clubs. And then two spades. Sorry, 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 sorry. I missed. So Fleischer opened the bidding a diamond on your right or left? Yeah, it's a it's a constructing bidding. So diamond on my right, 
okay. heart on my left, a no trump okay, got it. clubs on my right, two spades, which is just artificial forcing. And now wait, uh, wait, a, a club, a, a diamond, a heart, uh, one no, which shows clubs. Okay. Yes. Two spades artificial. Okay. And then three clubs natural, so most likely five five. Three diamonds natural, so probably like slam try, but maybe like I have issues with spades in a way, or whatever. Uh, but probably a like slam try with what? Diamonds. So three diamonds okay. is just diamond support. Three hearts natural, okay. which n- now looks like a one two five five, uh, and I don't really want to be three no trump. And now three no trump on my left. All pass. Uh, so now I'm quite confident that on my right, right I have one, two, five, five. And then on my left, it's probably three diamonds, uh, most likely four hearts. And then some number of spades and, and, uh, clubs. But then my partner didn't beat any spades didn't double to spades either for a lead. I was like on this kind of bidding where this guy beats two spades, this guy beats three clubs, and this guy still doesn't want to beat three no. And they go back and forth. They are like, I need to lead a spade in a way. But I just didn't like leading a small spade because this guy, like Fleischer didn't seem, like he let go of three no trumps. He didn't beat any diamonds or anything. He didn't beat three spades. To ask for soccer or anything. Uh, and my partner didn't double, so, like, she would likely double, we double quite likely there. Like, she would definitely double with Queen Jack 9 8 in this position, because, like, they're not gonna play spades on the board. Like, they have maximum six cards in spades. So, I let King of Spades on the hand. And, uh, it was Queen Singleton on my right. And, Ace, nine, eight, four on my left. And, um, partner had jack, ten, four with the six. So now he tried to make more than nine tricks because he was like, okay, this good, this lead is no good for me. Like, I can't, if I make nine tricks, it's, it's not going to be ideal because now we take king, jack, ten of spades and ace of hearts for sure. So he tried to make uh, more tricks if uh, club finesse was on, but uh, she held. Uh, so the dummy was ace nine eight fourth, queen fourth, ace queen jack third, and uh, ace doubleton. Hold on, tell me the dummy again. So ace nine eight fourth, uh, queen eight fourth. Uh, ace queen jack third and ace doubleton. So now, um, so now and declare had the stiff queen of spades. Yeah, and now he he can always take a uh, five diamond trick, a spade, and four clubs. Uh, but he three clubs or whatever four clubs, but he decided to like. If the king of clubs is on side to make extra trick, because he probably realized in board the match, it's, it's no good, like, making nine tricks on this hand. So he played, cause on, if he doesn't get a king of spades lead, he would always play the club finesse. So now he played club finesse anyway, and, uh, he went down on the hand. And, uh, at the other table, they played six diamonds and went down. So we actually needed him to go down and not make nine tricks. Uh, so it was actually very nice because, like, I I never led something like this. I never led from king empty, king. Yeah. And it's like first time I led it ever in my entire life, and it was mm. good. And I was like, oh my god, this is like mm. the best feeling ever. Because mm. I do lead crazy stuff. I like to lead crazy stuff. Um, but from king empty fours, I never led, never. What did he say? Did he say anything? He. So he said, uh, I think he said like, well done or nice one or something like that. But, uh, he played Tom, Tom Abbasis and, uh, Cedric Lorenzini played at the other table. So before the next round started, Tomah came and he was like, Hey, that was a nice one. And I was like, Oh, 
Thank you. So he obviously told his mm. teammates. So, and I was happy about that. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. That's cool. You know, like when somebody, when people see what you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, that's uh, one of the cool things about. It is. It is. <laughs> I. Uh, like getting complimented, you know. Yeah. It's, it's one of the nicest things, especially from people like them. Um, which, you know, we watch, we watch them on BBO all the time. And, uh, I, I grew up of, like watching them on BBO. And, uh, now they say, well done. And I'm like, yes, I never thought this, this was going to happen, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's finally happening. You're doing a festival and you, it doesn't sound like the way you say it is not like the way that I would, I would pronounce the city where you're from, but you're having, you and Giovanna, I think, are, have a festival in Novi. Novi Sad? Novi Sad. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a good, that's good. When no, is it's it? quite impressive. Seriously. Um, it's in t- 13 days now. So. It's in two weeks time, basically. Um, so tell, tell the listeners, like, cause they're not gonna, this is, today is April 15th, so it yeah. starts on April 8th, 28th? Yeah, it starts on April 28th. Um, so basically, we were organizing this festival for some time, uh, but not in this format. So now it's gonna be a lot more international players. And it's usually players from like 15 countries coming around to the festival, which is nice. It's a very nice venue, nice hotel, nice atmosphere, and best of all, nice food. Like, very cheap food. Very, very cheap food. When I say that, I mean very cheap food. And also very good food. Uh, like, we, the, the good thing about Serbia is like, because of the, all the wars and like, uh, all the people that occupied Serbia and Serbia occupied or whatever, like a lot of cuisines merged and it's like we have mm. the best from Turkish cuisine, from Hungarian cuisine, from Austrian cuisine, mm. from German cuisine, from Bulgarian cuisine, Greek cuisine. It's like best of, of all the cuisines ever. Uh, so it's a very nice place. It's like Navisad was a Euro- European culture capital of 2019, I think. So it's like a culture city of Europe and then it was European huge capital. So it's all the city of young people. I mean, honestly, my favorite place on earth. And I don't think it's unbiased. I really love the place. And uh, it's also very nice to like show it to other people that come around. Cause, it's so, where yeah, she's I'm... from. <laughs> <laughs> it's, where, it's where we're from, yes. Uh, but it's, it's just an amazing city. And... Uh, <laughs> Who are you playing with in the in the event? So I'm probably gonna play in Paris with a friend from Croatia, um, and then team event I'm playing with Jovana, but one uh, pair is from Croatia and one from Slovenia. So we are making a. So there was a country called uh, Kingdom of Slovenia, Croatia, and Serbia, hundred years ago. So we are reviving. Mm. Uh, the country and the kingdom in terms of a, like, in terms of a team. So we are having this amazing team and we won the event last year in the uh-huh. final match against Hungary. Uh, now we are defending the, the title of the team event and then match points. I'm probably going to play with Joanna as well. So that's going to be nice. And it's not, it's and... actually not, um, yeah, sorry. Uh, so, um, match points, funnily as, as it is, uh, match points tournament in Serbia, even like only with Serbian and, and no international people are actually tough. And that's because people actually spent a lot of time on cards and books and everything. So like bidding mm. is com- very messy, but like they're very smart people. Yeah. So like yeah. taking tricks is no, no issue for them. Uh, all decent types of deceptive plays and stuff. And uh, we have a very good uh, pair, a very good match point partnership uh, in Serbia. Also the best pair in, in Imps. But like in Imps, they have competition. In match points, they just win every single tournament. Like every single tournament. 
like Pula, uh, they are they were best players in Pula, uh, Bridge Festival, and then like wherever they go, they're just very good in match points. Unfortunately, they don't play much internationally. Is there gonna be? Is it gonna be on ViewGraph the teams or any of that uh, stuff on Bridge Base? So we uh, decided. So you know Stefan Korchev, right? Um, yeah. He's promoting uh, into Bridge platform. Uh, hopefully, he's also gonna be there, and we will uh, we will do the broadcasting on into Bridge um, ah. on the team's tournament. So yeah, we are. He claims it's amazing platform. Wait, I actually have even Interbridge uh, <laughs> ads. So I can <laughs> say scorebook. join Interbridge. He's going to love this. I, I need to send him <laughs> a video now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we will, we will broadcast it on uh, Interbridge. Got it. If somebody wants to get in touch with you, like listener, uh, how, how do you recommend that they do that? Yeah, so there is, uh, I can leave you my email. So my, uh, that's one way. And then there is also Novice Art Bridge Festival, uh, Facebook group, well, Facebook page with all the details and everything. But they can also contact me on, on Bridge Winners or, uh, yeah. or Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Uh, but Bridge Winners okay. probably the best. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was going to, that's what I was going to suggest. All right. Well, Selena, it's been so much fun. Like I had no idea <laughs> what, what a tiger, uh, <laughs> you were in terms of, yeah, love your attitude. And, uh, this has been, this has been a, a this is my longest conversation. I don't think I've, I just did one that was a little over two hours. Yeah. I think this is the longest one. Wow. I'm like, it's my pleasure. Uh, you're going to make me cry now. <laughs> Well, now, so maybe now is when I get you to agree that we can keep the thing about missing the plane in for your parents. No, that's not that my intention. <laughs> yeah, you, you can think about it because we'll have to delete this part too. If uh, Anyway, you can think about it. Okay, okay. I can think about it. Gosh, maybe I should tell them and then... I mean, uh, you know, it's like it's like my huge <laughs> argument. Whenever like they drive, they take me to the airport, they're always like, "You're gonna be late. You're gonna be late. You're gonna miss the flight. You're gonna miss the flight." And I'm like, "I'm not. I took like 200 flights. Probably I never missed a flight." And they're like, "Okay, fair point." And now, if I if I tell them this, uh, it's gonna be ah! like, ah! <laughs> Oh my god. But by the way, we still please. made it. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. You um, can. So are you playing the Open in Strasbourg or are you going to be gone? Uh, we might play it. We, so I, I'm not sure about my vacation because my manager wants to take vacation in the same week. So mm. that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. And then we are still not 100% sure that we have team. So if I would want to play with Joanna, uh, but then I would also want to play in the nice team. Um, and then yeah. the team might want to play as well. Um, so mm. yeah, we are still talking about all of that, uh, and figuring the details out. I mean, I would really love to play it. And, uh, I mean, yeah. it's a tough event. I mean, many good teams. Uh, but even if I'm not playing it, I'm probably gonna stay both first and second weekend and come to watch it. Mm. Uh, so. Okay. Cause it's like only hour and a half from Paris. So. Uh, it's, it's nothing. I just okay. go directly to the venue, watch some bridge and go back home. Okay. Cool. So I'll see you then. Yes. See you then for sure. And we play some board games. That's yeah. Yeah. Mean. Yeah. And yeah. the mind. Okay. Katana in the mind. Katana in the mind. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll let you know when we're publishing this. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, thanks for your thanks. flexibility. I know it was ridiculous that I asked you about that. No. And, uh, no, not at all. No, thanks so much as well for asking me and for having me here. And uh, it was very pleasant conversation. I could talk. 
I could stay on this podcast forever. I, I was like, oh, are we gonna have like, are we gonna have topics? I could stay here forever. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's yeah. the spirit. That's what I like to hear. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I could keep going too, but uh, you started talking about that that uh, Serbian food, and it's lunchtime here. Uh, so yeah. I'm like, what am I gonna get yeah. for lunch? Uh, like, what am I gonna get? That? Like, what? Like, like. Not that long. Just when you started talking about the Serbian food, there's a there's a bakery that's like that's right across the parking lot from me that has really good cinnamon rolls. And oh, cinnamon rolls. I don't think I'm gonna get that for lunch though. I mean, I want something more, what more, more substantive. Do you have uh, my favorite thing in the U.S. is sweet green. Do you have sweet? Oh, green? uh. Wait. We don't have a sweet green here, but we do have something uh, called roots, which is vegetable bowls. I actually like it better than sweet green. And really? there's the, the the original one is here. And there's, I think, a couple more. I think this place is going to be nationwide. It's it's really good. Okay. Roots okay. Natural Kitchen. Yeah. Uh, they, they have some stuff like that. Yeah, here. Well, I love that. I'm trying to like eat healthier, so like that's that's serious. You and everybody else. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. I'm not getting a salad. I think I'm gonna get the <laughs> no. fried chicken sandwich at uh, my <laughs> golf club. <laughs> yeah, 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 and then a cinnamon roll as well. <laughs> All right. So there's one condition of the being on the show. We have to we have to agree to do one of the uh, contests at. Uh, at Cubids. We can okay. do many. I do a lot of those. So. Okay. Is okay. it a contest you choose a partner and I choose a partner or No, 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 me and you as we're, we we have to we, okay. we we're going to bid bid some hands together. Yes, we bid some hands. All right. And then you also bid hands with your partner against me and Yolana. What about that? Okay. All right. Deal. Are you as addicted as I am to the Cubids? To bridge no. or Cubids or the what? Cubids. Cubits. Oh no! I I mean it's very useful, but not no. Like you're lapping me on that. Mm, that's sad. <laughs> I'll we'll see about that in some time. But don't think just because I'm not using it all the time that we're gonna be a, a you know lay down in the bidding contest. No 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 no. Okay don't worry. okay good. No, but I mean obviously it right. means nothing not- like if you're using or not. Okay, um, let's win that one tomorrow. All right. All right. So anyway, I'll be in touch. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll publish it uh, hopefully uh, at the end of next week. Sounds good. Thank you very much. And thanks a lot right. for having me. Once Thank again. you. Have a nice meal. <laughs> Bye. Have a, have Bye. a nice night. <laughs>